In today's video, we're gonna take a look at three exercises for strengthening knee and ankle connective tissue. These moves will improve tendon strength, which will help to decrease Achilles and patellar complaints that arise from activities that involve running and direction changes like soccer, basketball, and even martial arts. We've got an in-depth article to go along with this video. So be sure to check out the link in the description for that and the previous video I did on improving shoulder tendon strength. We're gonna start off with balancing split squats. Now in the beginning, keep even weight distribution between your legs, but as you get used to the movement, you'll wanna shift more onto the back leg, just like you can see Eduardo doing here. So that places more force on one knee and the ankle. A very important thing to mention is that these exercises need to be incrementally progressed and very likely performed at a slower pace than you'd like. Remember, go easy with these and slowly work up to loading the back leg. Suggest starting off with less weight on the back leg for one to two sets of five and progress to more weight shift towards the back doing two to three sets of 10. Next up, it's time to hop, stop, and drop. So this is actually a simple move where you hop, you stop, and then you place your knee on the ground. But it's a great example of movement that, that shows the interplay between muscle and connective tissue and demonstrating resilience and durability. If you're someone who watches this video and thinks, my knees would explode if I did this, well, then you probably shouldn't be doing these exercises exactly how we're showing them. There's a context for every exercise and perhaps a particular one isn't applicable to you but will be very useful for someone else. Some things to think about when performing this movement are, can you control the landing on your foot? Also, are you wobbly at your knee and or your ankle? And can you control the descent to place your knee on the ground gently? So for this one, start with shorter and slower hops and perhaps don't drop your knee all the way to the ground in the beginning. Go for one to two sets of five and then progress to longer and faster hops for two to three sets of 10. For our last move today, we have ankle bounces. Now, here you'll begin flat on the floor and progress to one leg only and then to an elevated surface. So decrease tolerance for repetitive loading and speed changes speed changes, pardon me, can result in ankle sprains and tendon problems. And so you see this all the time with running and cutting back and forth in nearly all sports. So after my big ankle break, further ankle issues are something that I really want to avoid. And I know that you want to take care of your ankles too. So working on these ankle bounces, really going to help you and me uh, to decrease our chances of ankle sprains and tendon problems in the future. So suggest to start off with one to two sets of 10 to 15 and then gradually increase the speed and repetitions to two to three sets of 20 to 30. All right, there you go. Three movements to help you improve your knee and ankle connective tissue. Be sure to check out the link in the description for our article and link to the previous video I did on improving your shoulder connective tissue. Have a great day.